All right, hello everybody. Peter draws alter ego. Peter paints here today. Hope you're all doing all right. And uh, yeah, let's do some painting. Uh, this is, I'm using Folk Art brand acrylic paints. Just got them at the local arts and crafts store. And I'm painting on a four foot by two foot birch board. And uh, I, just, I just went in. At first I painted it all black black-ish, off black, with some purple hints, and then I just, you know how I do. I had no idea for, I had no idea what I wanted it to be ahead of time, and and that was fine, you know, for better, for worse, you know? And, uh, look, there's a, there's a, there's a saying, a phrase, an idiom? I don't know what an idiom is anymore. Look, the... The phrase is above and beyond. Usually going above and beyond is a good thing. Am I right? That's usually considered to be a good thing. But with painting, uh, I feel that I can easily go above and beyond. I can just keep on adding things. Um, and I can feel like I can go way too far. Uh, way too far above, way too far beyond. Like maybe the people who... And, you know, like the Apollo missions who were trying to land on the moon. Uh, it would be bad if they went above and beyond, right? That would be terrifying. Anybody who was scared of space probably wouldn't be on those space missions anyways, um, going to the moon. I feel like everyone should have a healthy fear of space. Um, all those people... You know, all astronauts should have a healthy sphere of space, but anyways, but look, those people should, you don't want to go above and beyond past the moon, and you don't want to go above and beyond past, like, a good, like, the good spot of a painting where it's, it's, it's at its best. And I feel like that's a lot easier to do with a painting than it is with, like, an ink drawing, because... You can only add so many lines to a piece of paper before it's solid black. And then, well, I guess once it's solid black, you can start adding lines with a, a white pen. And then it can turn solid white again. And then you can start adding lines with a black pen. But it starts getting really goopy really fast, depending on what kind of pens you're adding. And trust me, I've tried it before. I have. It doesn't work well. It does not. But before people start suggesting I make a video like that, it does not work well, unfortunately. Um... Maybe if I did it digitally, it might work well. But look, uh, with with paint, you can just keep on adding layers, and it's easy to overthink it and get carried away, especially if you don't know where you're going. Like me, I never know where I'm going with these drawings, with these paintings. I'm, I'm like, I caught myself. I listened to my other video the other day when I was drawing with a pencil, and I kept on saying pen even though it was a pencil. And here I'm probably going to keep on saying drawing, even though it's a painting, you know? Old habits die hard. But look, it, yes. There's a few things I, I keep saying, but look. And anyways, and you know. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Just, just make things. I made a painting, guys. I put paint all over this board, and I had a great time. This took me about five five hours. I feverishly did it all night long. I slaved away. I had to get it done. I had, I had an idea within me. I didn't know what the idea was, but it was bouncing around inside my head every now and then. There was a, there's a hole at the bottom of your head and it, it's like a little, it's like a little drain where you're next to your spine and your spinal cord. And it, you know how the, uh, the little, screensaver on the DVD player can bounce around. It can barely hit the corner just right. Your ideas can bounce around and they, if they hit the little spine at the bottom of your skull, bottom of your mind just right, they can go down your spinal cord and start bouncing around your body for a while and eventually sometimes they'll bounce right back up into your brain and sometimes they'll be a little bit different once they come back up there and sometimes that's when you're ready to put them out on the out on the board, out on the paper uh, or, you know, maybe if you're crocheting or knitting, maybe that's when you're ready to make that doily. I don't know if doilies are crocheting or knitting. I can never... Wait. Crocheting... 
wait, no, knitting. Wait, there was some mnemonic I had for remembering which one was which, but I forgot the mnemonic, so it's all over. It's all over. It's all over. Um, and there's darning. Darning is what you do to socks. But I had a great time with this. Um, I I want to do it again. I have another board. I'll probably do it again. I have I'll try to do it differently. You know, all my all my drawings really do look the same. <laughs> uh, I feel like people sometimes people say that I don't know if they're just trying to like troll me or something. But like I already know I already know that. I don't know if it's because I'm just one person. And I only have one brain for drawings to come out of, or because I am stuck in a rut. If that's good or bad, I don't really know. I don't really care as long as I keep making things. I'm, I'm happy enough with that. It's okay. It's fine. I'll just keep making things, and that's okay. You know, better than not making anything at all. That that's the worst. Be, it's it's better to be in a rut than just stuck in a stuck in a post hole, not going anywhere. At least you're moving if you're in a rut. I like that. I like that. Anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, hope you have a good one. And uh, I can I can hear my neighbors upstairs. I don't know if you can. Anyways, goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Yeah.